you know, the quintessential part of the poo-poo line, the yellow eye cole. We're gonna go get some. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. We're gonna try something a bit different today. I'm gonna take you through like a full daily vlog out here in Hawaii, and we've got a really cool day for you guys. First mission, I'm out here with Justin Lee on the Kona side looking for a bunch of kole. He called me and he's like, man, my parents got a friend with a wedding. I need a bunch of kole. And if you're the local diver in kind of the community, you get that phone call and you kind of have to go. And being the friend of the local diver in that community means I kind of have to go too. So we're starting the day off, smashing kole. And then he's got to go back up to the mountain to go do some work. And he's going to turn me loose on his farm. Now on his farm, there are the wild, feral Hawaiian sheep. So I'm going to take my bow, I'm going to run off into the woods, and I'm going to see if I can get one of those and complete a surf and turf mission for the day. Talking those three prongs today, that Hawaiian style with like this little three prong on the end, just kind of reaches out real quick, real fast, grabs a hold of these little fish, and then we can hopefully get multiple on one dive. And that's kind of the mission for me today. Justin comes out here all the time, and I think he's heard, I think I've heard he does like six or eight on a dive max. Now I've never gotten more than three, so that's kind of my mission. I want to see if I can get four on a one single dive, put them on my stringer. And that's really just all about being efficient with your stringer system. It's not about staying down longer. It's about shooting one, stringing it, solving that problem. So then, then you can go get another one. We're both going to suit up and then we'll see you guys in the water. The Kole culture out here in Hawaii is kind of crazy. They are these little brown fish with a bright yellow eye that many of us would just expect to see in an aquarium. And we absolutely do, as they sell for hundreds of dollars each at pet shops. All the local kids start out hunting for these fish, but the pros are after them too. They are a required part of the poo-poo line or appetizer for any good Hawaiian event, like birthdays, weddings, and funerals. They're one of those fish that are always kind of around, but not in the numbers or sizes you find when you get off that beaten path. Shooting them can be incredibly easy if you are in the right spot, but shooting only a few usually isn't the goal. Usually you get this phone call and you need a lot. That means trying really hard to shoot multiple fish on each dive. For most divers, the shallow water and short dives make this seem fairly easy, but this isn't the problem. The problem is the system needed to manage each fish as it comes off the spear. Justin handles this by holding the end of the stringer in his left hand and stringing each fish underwater as he goes. He's got this down to a science and almost always gets multiple fish on a dive. I can dive super deep and stay there for several minutes, but I've yet to master this fairly simple system. For me, that means a constant struggle of one fish at a time and up and down all day long. Anytime I've got the three prong in my hand, I'm looking for anything else to shoot at to make things more interesting. I see a lot of Roy on my travels, but don't take the time to shoot as many as I probably should. When I've got the three prong, there really is no excuse not to fire. These things are invasive out here in Hawaii and getting as many as possible off the reef is super important. As delicious as I'm sure they are though, they're also known to have cigateratoxin and can make you really sick, so I don't eat them. After a long, grueling swim, I bumped back into Justin. We realized we had plenty of fish and it was time to get out of there and head up the mountain. Well guys, we got it done. First part of the mission. Got plenty of cole there for Buddy's wedding. We're gonna swap the dive gear for the hunting gear and we'll see you guys up in the woods. So we made it out to Justin's ranch and he gave me Auntie Lillian's new Polaris, which if you know me, might be a mistake but this thing is beautiful. Sam and my mother showed up. My mother manifested her plane being delayed. She was supposed to leave today. 
but she didn't. So now she's here. I got Sam, I got my mom. We're cruising around the ranch. Justin is supposed to be doing some work. I don't know, we're gonna go see what we can find. I'm gonna go see if I can kill a sheep without him. If nothing else, we'll give you a good rundown of how beautiful this property is up here, how crazy Hawaii is up high on the mountain, just places that you wouldn't normally get to see. And then if we fail, maybe Justin will take me out at sunset, take me up to one of his named little sheep. He knows exactly where they sleep, where they live, which logs they like to hide under, walk me right up there. Hopefully we complete the surf and turf mission of the day. All right guys, we just saw our first herd of sheep. I'm gonna creep up here and see if I can't get close enough. I'm really looking for a particular sheep today. Either something big with horns, but probably just a young ewe, a young female sheep. Something that'll be really, really delicious to eat. So that first sheep hunt there, didn't see any I liked. Got within maybe 20, probably like 25, 30 yards, but really trying to be picky today. Looking for, you know, that nice big fat young female or something, something really special with horns. So we're gonna keep on looking. We saw a dead cow and I was like, man, any other place, it'd be a big old pig eating that dead cow about this time. And cruising right by just then, a big old scraggly looking boar. Not something I wanted to eat. Probably not something I really had a chance at either because he just kind of ran away from us. Ah. 
sick day there guys, but I think it's over. Tried my best on that last herd. Got pretty close actually. Like I really thought it was gonna happen. I was within 15, 20 yards. And then I don't know what happened. I was waiting for them to come around the corner and they all just blew up. So no sheep for me. I'm giving all these coal to Justin. So I got nothing to cook. So this is the end of this guys. Subscribe if you're not, because we're just getting started. And guys, thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.